Warning, this video may contain spoilers for the TV show or movie that we discuss in this video. If you have not yet watched the TV show or movie that this video is about, please come back to the video at a later time after you have watched the content that was discussed. You have been warned. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? This is Rob of Novacast, back with another video for everybody, or let's watch video for Stranger Things. This is Season 1, Episode 6, and it starts off with Nancy being in the Upside Down, as well as being hunted by um, the Demigorgon. Luckily, if she's able to escape through um, I'm assuming the portal that she crawled in and proceeds to be comforted by uh, Jonathan though that ends up becoming a mistake to some extent where um, Steve uh, shows up outside her window to see Jonathan embracing her to so it's just to an extent calm her down and I can see where he would you know assume that she's cheating on him and that pretty much escalates later on Hopper and Joyce uh, there's a moment with them where they are going out to find an or at least information on L because they he starts to realize that not only is he hunting trying to find Will but he's also trying to find another child that's been missing so they try to search for the mother and they do but unfortunately she is in a sort of catatonic state where she doesn't speak with anyone um, Mike and Dustin is it Mike? Yeah, I think it's Mike. Um, they both go and try to find Eleven, who, in between their search, robbed a, a grocery store for Egos, which was, I, I, I will say that it's probably one of the funniest scenes, where she just walks in, like, just stone cold, calls the uh, one of the clerks a mouth breather, breather grabs the Egos, uses her powers to push a cart in front of him, and then uses the car, uh, her powers to slam shut the freaking door for the convenience store. Which, again, I have to point out is probably one of my favorite moments in this uh, episode. So, yeah. Mike and Dustin are trying to find Elle. And they end up getting pursued by the bullies. One of, the, you know, the one where, um, which I didn't talk about, uh... L made piss his pants well they want revenge um, and they pretty much give him an ultimatum Mike anyway that if he doesn't jump in the ravine then they were going to uh, tear out Dustin's teeth which in the end uh, Mike ends up jumping but is saved by L and it's discovered that she is the one that opened up the rift she's the one that opened up the door from our world to the upside down only because uh freaking a brenner i think that's the character's name wanted uh wanted her to make first contact with the demigorgon because it is from the upside down now there uh with other stuff that was going on near the last section of the episode um, Jonathan ends up getting a fight with Steven because of him being pushed kind of pushed mentally by Steven about being called worthless and just everybody including his mother screw ups 
and kind of pushing his buttons when it comes to his brother. Um, and it didn't help too that with the whole situation, like the way this whole thing starts is when um, they're in town trying to get supplies to capture the Demi Gorgon, and what ends up happening is she sees a sign spray or a theater sign spray painted that she was a slut which yeah that is not okay and again is the reason why I hate these characters like the three side characters because they are obnoxious they are they are so annoying and yeah they are not likable It, it, I, I would say that like in a horror movie they're the kind of characters that you would wish to die because of how stupid and annoying they are but I doubt that's going to happen you probably won't get that wish so anyway this episode was a really really interesting one we get some back, some knowledge about where L comes from um, how this whole thing starts and why everything has gone to shit. So with this, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a, oh wait, that's right. I wasn't going to, uh, re uh, rate it anymore. It's a good episode. Just go watch it. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you have anything you would like to add to the conversation, please leave it in the comments down below. Want to follow MJ, Maggi, and Aiden on gaming streams? Go check them out. If you want to follow us on social media, links are in the description. If you want to follow Sage for his nature walks, which is a lot of fun, go check that out. If you guys want to watch some of the other content that I produce, Sometimes they upload between noon and 6 p.m. Pacific time. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. This is Rob of Novacast signing off. Have a good one and take care. Peace.